Look at this. Mobeen's new Range Rover. Douchebag Eddie's here. What? <laughs> where's, the, where's the donut part? Donut? It's been too long. We got Mobeen and Hazefa. It's been a while since you're we've arguably done a the world. Yeah, you're arguably the world's most famous dentist. No, that's debatable. They're, they're a lot bigger dentists on social media than me. No, unfortunately. You're, you're the world's most famous dentist. This looks great, man. This, this looks great, great, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, it's no Ford Explorer. Yeah, it's no Ford Explorer, but the most common colors in this car are black and white. Yes. So this really, really sticks out. I think it's beautiful. What was it? Uh, 22. Ooh. Wow. 23s? 23s, damn. Mobin, you had a 20, what year was the first one? 2020? The black one? The black oh, white one. 2018. 2018. That was the first of that iteration, that generation. Yeah. A disaster. It lasted 40,000 miles. It lasted 50,000, maybe. <laughs> it just needed a second engine. Second engine, first. I think two weeks, it was in the dealership for like a month. Oh, I wasn't even two weeks, that was the first day. This is the story of what happened. Well, Bean took delivery of one of the first new generation Range Rover Supercharged, and we're like, awesome, we're getting dinner the next night. He shows up in his E63, and we're all like, where's the Range Rover? And it goes, it broke. It broke. <laughs> we're like, it's been 12 hours, so this it one's was, been- I mean, this has lasted more than 24 hours. But... Okay, what is this color called, Mobeen? It's definitely not green. just green. Oh, it's the window sticker. B Belgravia green it's over a caraway interior. It has the BMW 4.5. Four twin turbo V8 now, 523 and 553. Is this even a, this is not an autobiography, right? No, I'm not BBE. What? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm Listen. like a peasant. <laughs> We're all peasants compared to this guy here. No, no, no. I'm a big peasant. I mean, Mobin is the king a, uh, of money. Bullshit. He has Stop Fort with Worth. Uh, Fort Worth? <laughs> Fort Worth. Oh my God. <laughs> if I had that one being that one, you're dumbass. <laughs> Trust me. Ooh. This is awesome. Only 161 miles. I Brand want one. new. You want Brand one? And spanky new, yes. What, what's the MSRP? What's the sticker on this? 145? Oh, not bad. What? That's pretty sweet. That's a, I think that's a deal. Uh, look at all this new technology. This interior is much better than the previous one. Yeah. Am Going I right? From the 2018 to this, I mean, it's miles apart. Whoa. Yeah, this, this is beautiful. This is really the that, feedback and everything. I mean, that screen is slightly curved. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. I like, I like this. I like the feature. Isn't the leather better? Am I right or no? The soft closed doors, I think. Probably a little bit. It soft. seems like it. Yeah. It yeah. seems like yeah, much soft more closed doors. I got to get going, by the way, guys. So, uh, yeah, it's his wife's gonna, birthday. Yeah, so, so Fatima. No, be... he actually said, oh, we should hang out. No, no. no it's don't like, don't blame this on us. Shut up. All right. I'm being responsible. I'm, I'm trying to make everyone happy, okay? I'm trying to make everyone happy. Just like Tom Brady said, life is effing complicated yeah, at this age. Tom Brady's going through a divorce, yeah, all right? We all have our issues, okay? I miss these guys. I miss these guys so life much. Very complicated right now. All right, I gotta leave. Bye. Bye. Good seeing you. Bye. All right, Mubarak, congrats on the car. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. This green is super cool. It does kind of look like Syed's, what is it, Black Olive paint to sample GT3? Pretty much. Yeah. That's what it is. It looks very similar. What is your favorite part of it so far? That it works, and I actually like this screen. I mean, there's no delay, like, honestly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. No issues. Oh, a wireless auto, uh, Android auto. And CarPlay. And CarPlay. You got the off-road assist stuff. Whoa, yeah. This is actually way nicer. Yeah. I think just in overall general, I, th I think it's a well-built car. Okay. Compared to the older one. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, it's been what, a week? No, I got it yeah. Thursday. So two days. Longer, <laughs> I've had it longer than, you know, the first one. Did you? Oh, oh, this was cool. Oh, the digital rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah. that's really, and we have the full panoramic yeah. roof. But that's this is kind of like, it kind of makes you, dizzy when you're driving you, it, it takes a little getting used yeah, to it yeah so i just don't like it okay it's, just... uh, it's really nice at night because it handles glare oh, and it's a lot easier to gosh. see so that's nice and you have to get used to it because for me it threw me off because you can't see your own reflection yeah you don't see the weird. inside yeah it, it, it just really it takes time it did, did give me a little bit of almost like motion sickness at first exactly. i was like oh what's going on yeah. this is massage seats uh yeah i, I did get massage of course you did oh there we go Massage front. Here, I'll turn yours on first, sir. So the mm. other one in the 2018, Yeah. if I was driving, both of them would turn on, on their own. So it was just mind of its own. I just kept it as is. 
Like, I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit. So. What was, okay, so the first time it died was because of a body control module or something? Yeah, yeah. And it was then, overheating, so okay. it was just going to like limp mode, so you would floor the car, Yeah. and it'd still go like 25 miles an hour. <laughs> and that was with a supercharged 500 that was a supercharged You're like, this is not right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one, this was probably a year ago when you called me, you're like, uh, I've got like white smoke coming out of the tailpipe. And I was yeah, like, oh, Mobi yeah, you was, you were, you, yeah. So it was my cousin's wedding. Mm -hmm. I saw some smoke. I'm like, that can't be the car. Yeah. I pull up to the wedding. The freaking car is just covered in smoke as soon as I stop. I left it there for maybe two hours. I'm like, should I start it or shouldn't yeah. I start it? People like, don't start it. Just call a tow truck. Called a tow truck, sent it to the dealership. Something happened. They said oh, there was a belt. They changed the belt. Okay, everything looks fine. Came back the next morning, gonna go drop off my son, see smoke coming out from the tailpipes. I'm like, this is not normal. This can't be normal. Yeah, he called sent me again. it back, yeah. sent it back. They said a few days later, like, oh yeah, well you need a new engine. And it was so just four, out of warranty. Yeah, yeah. It was forty five thousand miles, I yeah. think. Fifty thousand dollars later to put a new engine in. Yeah. And I mean, since then it's been fine, but the TVs it didn't work. Yeah. It was just a hassle. You had to literally pull over and start the DVD yeah. in order for it to show up. So if you're on the freeway, you're done. You can't do that. So even if all of those things they just listed, most people would be like, I am absolutely never oh, gonna buy a Range Rover again. Like never ever, you have another one. You don't even know how much backlash I got from like friends and family. They're like, why would you get another why? one? Yeah. Like, they've seen the car on a flatbed more than on the road. I so they're like, why would you go back to it? I'm like, yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's it's a good price point. I mean, to get into a G63, yeah. you're at 200. A GLS Maybach is it's nah, too big. Too, yeah. Uh, too bulky too though. But it's so nice. It's nice, but I just- Your son would destroy the back yeah. seat. But he's a little bit, he's, he's, <laughs> oh, he's better. Bit, less serious. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, you, got a, you got a kid. You got a kid. Yeah. This is also the man who I quote. Oh, here we go. Don't listen to what he's saying. Literally, did you or did you not say I this exactly? I don't, I don't uh, verbatim. He was oh. like, man, the Range Rover is so dirty. I think I'm going to order a new yeah. one. Well, I did order a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Jose and I were like, you know, we have things called detailers and they can clean the cars. You don't have to it sell it bad. and buy a new one because it's bad. dirty. <laughs> It was really bad. <laughs> oh man. Congratulations though. This Thank is you. this is nice. With the BMW V8, fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, Better? I yeah, I hope so. Let's go check out Platinum. I've got the Nissan Z, so I will go hop into Z and we're gonna go to Platinum Motorcars and finish checking out this car. I've just I've missed seeing you guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. We've all been you've been all over the world, I've been all over the yeah. world, we've been working a lot, it's been hectic, and obviously I don't live in Michigan anymore, but yeah, this this guy has been one of my best friends for years. Oh God. Don't despite ever, the, don't tell people that. Despite the endless emotional abuse that I've received through the decades. What is this? It's the new Nissan Z. So what's the difference? It is a VR30 now, a twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque, all new interior, new X, well, I guess all, not all new. It's got new cluster and infotainment. Hop in. It's cheap. <laughs> all right, mister, I have a brand new $150,000 Range Rover. <laughs> this is a $50,000 little sports car. Which, uh, I mean, it's, it's not, all right, I'm gonna, you can play with it. I'm gonna mute him for a second. Also, yeah, the key fob is, this is the same as the Nissan Sentra. Check out that key fob. See what I mean? Yes, I know, I know, but this is. <sighs> Here's this key. Oh, you wanna drive this? You You're not allowed to actually. I know how to drive stick, I'm like, yo, oh, Remember when <laughs> at, at Ozefa's house and you oh, had the R8, I'm like, <laughs> Eddie, let me see the keys to the R8. Do you know how to drive a stick? I'm like, yeah, I know how to drive a stick. Do you know how to start it? I'm like, if I know how to drive it, I know how to start it, dumbass. I'm never gonna live this down. I never let him drive the- He didn't bring donut bar. I never let him drive the R8, the manual oh. one, and I sold it before he got to drive it, so. Even, even, not even like in the driveway. I couldn't even move the car. I'll remember that. <laughs> See that? This segment of the video is senior citizens try to drive new sports cars. I got a Range Rover to drive now. In a surprising turn of events, I guess not that surprising, I am driving the Range Rover. The full digital cluster is nice, the new sculpted steering wheel. Got paddle shifters back here. Uh, passion seat is empty, so I can turn off that massage seat. Massage seats are actually quite nice too. The seat belts have the light up around there too, that's handy. And then you see all the ambient lighting. It's a very nice touch. I like this interior color combination a lot too. How do we put in a reverse? Forward? No, is there a button? No. No. Oh, there's a button here. There we go. 
I know how to drive cars. I'd be surprised if there's a dozen of these in the state right now. They are brand new, just starting delivery of the new Range Rovers. This is a cool touch. The overhead view of the vehicle, see where it like ghosts out and you can see where the wheels are, but you can see underneath it too. That's pretty awesome. See the arrow is updating as you drive over it. Take a look at the interior now in the sun. Auto stop start, which I hate. Where's the button? Uh, it's probably buried in the screen too. Weight sensing, no, I'm not going through water right now. See the cars now are getting so complicated. There's so much, it'll take time to just climatize. Auto start, stop, off, there we go. Dyma dynamic stability control on, let's see. Nothing too crazy, vehicle still going through braking, it has 160 miles on it. Keys, me, it's mine now? Bye. Go ahead. Uh, trade you. I can't afford the payments on this thing. 50K over sticker. 50K over sticker. Did you, did you get it at sticker? Yeah. There's not many. How many have been delivered so far, you think? And so at that dealership, I think they said about five, but okay. two or three of them were demos. Okay. So two or three were um, orders. And you have pretty much everything you wanted on the vehicle. You got the upgraded sound system, you got the everything? Wheels. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. I, the only thing that I was really hesitant about was the rear entertainment screens. Okay. Um, but then I just stopped it not to go with them. Because it was like... Saving money. 4000 I think. <laughs> It'd be cheaper to just buy an iPad yeah, and give them the iPad exactly. for the watch on. Yeah, that's, yeah. that so, is valid. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I am very happy that you got this, even though it's mostly for your wife. One thing that I'm trying to figure out is those stupid. I'm gonna take a look at this. I don't think it, it came with. There's like, you could sit on here with the. Oh, like a little backrest thing? Yeah, with the backrest. Like the Rolls Royce Colonel picnic yeah, table, or picnic chairs? Maybe I didn't order that. Oh. Well, let's take a look at the window. Oh, well. So 122, 800 base price. A lot of stuff is standard. What did you get? Premium interior upgrade pack. What is a handover I pack? I have no idea. <laughs> Emergency pack for $70, wheel protection pack, park assist. It's weird that they make these like standalone options and not just group them but together. if I have the wheel protection pack, and I think I saw something else. Oh yeah, Full -size premium bearer. interior protection pack. Why yeah. did I pay extra for it then? Oh. Heated and cooling massage front with reclined heated vented rears, $2,000. Technology pack, $2,000. 23-inch wheels, $3,000. Holy crap. As optioned, $145, 210 That's... That's a lot more than the that's, first one. That's probably like in your pillow. You probably sleep on that. <sighs> or probably in your piggy bank. Forget that ashtray. Compared to these guys, I might as well be on food stamps. Uh, go back and see some of his videos and you'll see what he's writing in. Oh, I'm sitting in the back of a, a ghost or whatever it was. Well, those horses are nice. See? They're very see? comfortable. Look at this piece of shit. How much was the black one? MSRP. 130. So that was a supercharged Super pretty well option. Yeah, pretty yeah. Uh, Was it 128 or 180? I thought something it was like that. I thought it was under 130. 120 yeah, something. Like yeah. Because John's one was like 150 autobiography, yeah. right? Yeah. So the price has definitely gone up they have. a good amount. Like I think this could have been 150 if, if you... I had gotten the rear entertainment like I did with yeah. the last one. This is also regular wheelbase, short wheelbase. Short wheelbase. And then there is an autobiography, right? With the seven seater and yeah. things like that. Yeah. I don't, I don't need you don't that. need that. You don't need that. Um, I love the spec though. The color. Yeah, I think I think that was the biggest issue was the color, and I even from the sample that I've seen uh, at the dealership. Yeah, this is different. Oh, really? From yeah. like the paint sample from they had. Sample that they had. Okay. Uh, because the one that they showed me, it was actually sort of like an emerald green. Okay. And this is sort of like a khaki green. Yes. Right? It's hard to describe. It's very yeah, hard, it's hard to photograph, but it looks really cool. Yeah. And so. do you do you like the new tail lights? I should really do. thin so just tail light. To the guy here. Yeah. And I just don't understand. You've changed pretty much the entire car. Why wouldn't you change, you know, the front end? Yes, the tail is very, very different, but the yeah. front just looks like a more, it's just this vertical bar now. And then the reverse light is here. Oh, it's down there now. Yeah. Air suspension, so adjustable ride height. Oh, four wheel, 20. four wheel, what are steering. That oh, it does cool have rear wheel steering, because yeah. Because even today, when I was looking for parking, it was just such a short radius. Yeah helps the turning radius honestly 23s look the perfect size on this any smaller would look weird so anybody wants one 75k over sticker oh it just went from 50k to 70 oh it's 50k to me 75k to everybody exactly. else yeah, yeah. thank you for the yeah. discount no problem but the headlights do look very similar to the previous generation almost identical actually I'm just i think they've changed the grill a little bit but that's about it you can see the sun hitting the paint here it's got that flake this is a really cool green 
I'm a fan. We'll get a thumbnail picture and I'm sure spend more time with it and we'll do a proper review of this in ownership and we talk about your opinions. Not knock on wood, it doesn't go back to the dealership. For any Rolls Royce, not Rolls Royce, well, not Rolls Royce, for any see, Ray see, this is natural BBE. <laughs> Right here. Doesn't even know any other word. <laughs> Shut up. For any Land Rover people watching this video, that was just an honest, we weren't bashing on the vehicle. That was your honest experience. And you're still a return customer, so they can't be mad at us. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. This is the world's grumpiest brand new Range Rover owner. No, but I, I, I just hope it, their reliability is improved. I hope so too. You know, especially, I mean, the interior has it, the touch screen and all mm -hmm. that, that's improved, mm -hmm. but hopefully the engine stays in Our train, yeah. everything, suspension, transmission, all of that. Oh so. yeah, and now that when I turned it in, now, I mean, I, I can say, because uh, I don't own the fucking car anymore, the rear driver yeah. suspension was, I don't know, something was going on. <laughs> it was like tilt. tilt oh, like the, the air suspension was yeah. like collapsing? And they wanted like two grand for it. I'm like. I have CPO. Oh, it's not covered. Oh, you know what? So, I can already see the comment section on this video. It's going to be bashing Range Rovers, saying they're the most unreliable things in the world. Why would you buy one? I slap myself at the door. Yeah, I'll slap you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of heat because of it. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you, like, friends and family, like, yeah. what the hell's wrong with you? It's still a good car to drive. Oh, it's smooth. It's quiet. Yeah. It's, it's a Range Rover, right? The way the, the seating position is. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Rides great, but has the brand prestige, the yeah. status. So this is what I love, like hanging out with friends and doing the ownership videos. Because I, if I let's go back to we're not friends. Let's make that very clear. We're not friends. So continue. <laughs> I hate you. When I drive a car for a day, even a week, like I'm driving that Nissan Z for the whole week, I get a snapshot of it and typically they just work, right? I enjoy it, nothing major. But when you talk to an owner who drives it for 40, 50,000 miles, clearly that's a whole other picture. And we, we share that inside. There's no, we didn't censor anything. We're not hiding anything. We just told you guys exactly what happened with the vehicle. Yeah. And we'll keep you updated with what happens with the brand new Range Rover owned by my favorite movie. Oh, no. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this See completely informal, unplanned video. I miss these two guys, Moby and Josefa. Follow them on Instagram, I have tagged no, them. No, don't follow me. No, don't follow him? Don't fo you can follow- I, You know what's funny? Every time I go on your video or you post something, yeah? I get bombarded with followers. And I don't add them because I don't know them. <laughs> All right, don't follow him. Go follow Dentite. He'll like this yeah, plug up. Like, oh, Free Instagram plug boost for- his ego. Yes, boost for the world's ego. most famous dentist who no longer has a cool car anymore. He's gonna buy an Explorer. And who just Googles everything too. Yes, that's him, that's yeah. him. You're like, oh, my tooth hurts. Google. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.